Previously on Sailing La Vida Gypsy, we went through the red tape to get into Costa Rica. This week, we welcome our old friends and begin to explore the sea life, wildlife, and beauty that this country has to offer. We've got guests coming here in the next day or so. and We've been busting our butts cleaning for the last couple of days. Kurt is still doing his detailed cleaning. He says he's got a lot of stuff to do. I promised myself that if I was gonna be in a marina that had a nice pool and nice views that I was gonna take advantage of the amenities because Lord knows our bank account is paying for it. So we should enjoy what we got. To the pool we go and you guys are coming with me. Bye Kurt. Ah, oh yeah, guys. Now I can say that I am in paradise. Still got plenty of cleaning to do, but I needed to take a break to get out of that boat. Yeah, you did a good job. We saw that there was a cool little jungle trail right outside of here, and we're gonna go and check it out and see what's over there. So onward and upward, go on. Come on, Rick. We're not even, we're not even in here yet. The jungle is behind me, and Rick, we just spotted a howler monkey. <gasps> Okay, forget the pool. Now this is the best marina ever. <laughs> Rigby, what is that thing? What is it? Go look. What is it? She's like, oh my gosh, ma. This trail is so cute. It's not very long. Doesn't go very far. It's right outside the marina. And if you guys can listen, the ocean is right behind me. So there's a little beach access. And there's howler monkeys howling over me too. So I've got a howler monkey to my left, beach sounds to my right. Great way to end the day. Okay guys, we've got the boat already. It's cleaned. The dog's kind of clean. She's a little stinky, but that's all right. We have got guests coming today. We've got one of my oldest and dearest friends. His name is Todd and he's bringing his wife, Christina. And I have known Todd since the third grade. And Todd and Christina are seasoned cruisers. They've been with us on the boats probably four or five times, I don't know. And so they know the drill, but this is gonna be a little bit different. This is their first time on La Vida Gypsy. And this is both of our first times cruising in Costa Rica. So we don't really know what to expect, but I'm sure it's gonna be a great adventure. I'm hoping we have good weather. It looks like we will. They should be here shortly. So let's go pick them up and get the party started. OMG, your best friend is in that shuttle. OMG, are you excited? Super excited, here they come. OMG, it's Kurt's best friend. I know, he has friends, right? You thought you guys thought it was just his dad who cared about him? <laughs> He's got friends. It's them, it's them. Upside down up there. You can't see it on this camera, but there are a bunch of howler monkeys. Not even four hours here and they're already getting some wildlife. The adventure begins. We are casting off lines. We got Todd up here helping out. Right, Morning. First mate, first first mate. mate. he's back. back. He's got, took my title for a week and I have zero <laughs> problems with this. 
because I trust this guy. The original first, the OG first mate. Christina, what are you most excited about this trip for before we take off? What am I not excited about? That's a fantastic, the whole thing. fantastic answer. Todd, what are you most excited about for this trip? Sun and the sand. Wildlife, the snorkeling. Wind. D, all the above. D, all the above. <laughs> So, where are we taking these guys? We intend to stop in Portrero, then make our way down the Nicoya Peninsula all the way to Samara. After that, continue south a bit further and end this leg in Montezuma. So you think you're gonna catch us something, Todd? What even on it? Kurt says that it's your job to keep this family fed. Somebody's gotta do it. <laughs> so, Last year, we had Chase and his friend, I don't know if you guys remember, we'll put a little clip to remind you, that was actually Todd's son, and he was nicknamed El Bonito because all he caught was those really gross little skipjacks. So he's got a mahi colored shirt on today. That's right. It's gonna it's bring the vibes. So Chase, if you're watching, which I know you are, your dad's about to spank you, boy! Yeah, I just want to be all. Ribby, sit. Oh, man, that's hilarious. Not a big one. Yeah, that's just our warm-up. That's the warm-up. Good job, Todd. Good job. 20 knots. Rowing nine. Pretty good first sail. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Not easy, is it? There you go. And snap it. Boom! All right! All right, guys, we are here and we are not wasting any time. We no, are, no. what's the plan? Snorkel. Snorkel and paddleboard. And paddleboard. We geared up and dove right in with the hopes to find some cool sea life. Unfortunately, all there were were some urchins and boulders, not to mention terrible visibility. So we decided to cut the snorkeling early. All right guys, we just tried to go to a marina right behind us to try it and see if we can get some tender service to drop our dinghy off. We're trying to get some dinner here in this little cute town. As we get there and they're asking us for all these documents and paperwork to drop the dinghy, which should have been a red flag for us already. And they're like, okay, so for um, a couple of hours, it's gonna be a hundred dollar. <laughs> and we're like, to watch the dinghy? Like, yeah, that's our tender service. We're like, no, absolutely not. So now we're here on the side of a highway by the beach, finding a tree to lock up our dinghy and pray that our dinghy will be back when we are done with dinner. Honestly, guys, Costa Rica's been pretty damn expensive since we got here. Even the check-in and stuff like that was quite pricey. What do you think? I think they got their tourist game down. Yeah. I think they uh, they know how to squeeze the dollars out of the uh, American tourists. Right. And so uh, things are pricey. Yeah, very pricey. But we just got here, so we can't judge it 100%, but planning on cruising here, watch out. It's a good night. Turning this camera off, you can't see a damn thing, but we're gonna make it back on the boat. Good morning. Up and at them early, huh? Yep, it's about 6.30 in the morning. We're up and at them, we're moving. It's gonna be a 10 hour trek today down south. We're going to the bottom of Nicoya Peninsula here in Costa Rica to a bay called uh, Samara, I believe is how it's pronounced. So 
Never been there. We don't know much about it, but it's supposed to be a beautiful bay with pink sand beaches and some restaurants to hit for the, this evening. We should be getting there. That's why we started so early. We want to get there, uh, you know, maybe between two and four o'clock. Make the most of the So that we day. can get in a little bit of beach walking and then go get some dinner. So you've got like 10 hours to catch us a fish. Yeah. Or Todd, where is he? He's got 10 hours to catch us a fish. Our luck of not seeing much sea life in the previous anchorage quickly began to turn around as a friendly humpback whale decided to visit and give us the show of a lifetime. This guy had a lot of flair and gave us the best whale watching experience to date. Even Rigby was in awe. So much, in fact, she stayed on whale watch for the rest of the trip. Another great experience for us throughout our journey was the sailing. With perfect conditions, we were able to show off what La Vida Gypsy could really do. We were gliding and slicing through the waves and were even able to keep up with a motor yacht. We've had gusts up to 35 today. We put the reefs in, we've got two reefs in the main, we've got two reefs in the head sail. We've still been holding double digit speeds all day. We even reached up to 14 knots with our reefs in, but the sea state's real nice today. It's, it's not very, uh, not a lot of swell, not a lot of waves. So uh, it's been pretty comfortable and been very fast. So I think our long sail today has just been cut to almost in half. We'll, uh, we'll see how fast we can get there, but this has been fun. Good initiation, I guess you'd say, <laughs> for, our, for our guests. They're not green anymore. Yeah, to see how fast this boat can go. All right, we are pulling up into our anchorage. The winds died down enough that we've had a very nice sail. We're actually doing eight and a half knot speed over ground because I think we got about a two and a half knot current pushing us. All right, we've scoped the beach. Behind me is a treacherous reef. In front of us is another treacherous reef. <laughs> so we're going this way. This is actually a lot greener than anything we've seen so far. We finally feel like we're in Costa Rica now. Yeah. <laughs> nice palm trees. The beach is beautiful. Everyone's having a good time. Que bonito. But these waves are getting a little bit rough. And we've all decided that we were gonna paddleboard back in the dark. We can all swim quite well, but we're worried about Rigby. So Kurt is taking Rigby now while there's still daylight and paddling back. If it's your first time here, we just wanna point out that Rigby is a fantastic swimmer and she is addicted to all things water. She's also very much part of the crew. So whenever there's a chance to take her with us, we try to make it happen. Costa Rica is known for its rolling anchorages and rough surf landings. So we knew for her, beach walks would be limited during our stay. This place was just safe enough to get her back on board safely, even though it took a few attempts. A 
another morning of early rising to get to our next spot. We are going further down and um, yeah, it's another six to eight hour sail. We are doing a lot of moving today, but it's very windy as you can see. So that means that we should get some good sailing this morning. Fish on, mahi on the line. Four days into the sail. If we don't get it, at least we know they're out there. Oh, he's trying to get free. Don't let him. You got it. Woo! Show us, show us. Let me see him. Oh, daddy. It's a long-standing tradition that Kurt makes, and this isn't me who said it. This is the guests. The best painkillers ever. Wow. World famous. Wait, I'll be the judge of that. Let me see. Oh, all my pains have been killed. This is really good, babe. <laughs> tour guide Armando Tours. I'll leave his number down in the description below so if you guys are interested in taking a tour he's gonna show us the Catarata Montezuma. There's three. Yeah. He's gonna show us all three so let's go. It was finally time to get off the boat, stretch our legs, and witness firsthand the world-famous jungle trails of Costa Rica. Our tour guide took us deeper and deeper into the trail, and the further we went, the more challenging things got. Rigby decided she wanted to come along, which looks adorable on film, but was quickly becoming an issue in some spots. We got a ledge. Come here, Rigby. Hold on, Rigby, hold on. Good girl! Nonetheless, we made it to the waterfalls and washed away all our stresses, surrounded by nature and great friends. Got a nice fresh rinse in the waterfall. And now we're going to waterfall part two and three. He said, there's two ways to do this. There's the easy way with a bunch of steps that lead all the way to the highest waterfall. Well, there's this way. La Vida Gypsy never does it the easy way. La Vida Gypsy never backs down and Rigby's with us. So I don't know what kind of footage we're getting because my priority is obviously making sure she doesn't fall and slip. So we'll see. But I think, I think you guys are getting a good, a good view of what we're going through. This is gorgeous. Rigby's part mountain goat. Rigby, yeah, come on my way. Yeah, he's making it straight up the mountain. Rigby, come up here. Okay, good girl. <laughs> <laughs> down here, down here. Oh, watch out. I don't want her. We need somebody to hold her that edge. Okay, come on here. Oh, yeah. Rigby, look. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't let her slip that edge. She doesn't. Y'all go first. Okay. You see where all those people were? Way down there, that's where we just were. We just hiked up a friggin' huge mountain cliff. Even Rigby did it. Even Rigby did it. We were down there, 
And now we're here and we're still all going. bridge what do you think <laughs> she's like get me off of this go 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 girl everybody say pura vida pura vida pura vida woo that was a fantastic waterfall hike and now it's on to the next stop can't stop won't stop we got just a couple days left with these guys and we are burning through this Costa Rican tour. Still need to find some good snorkeling. Haven't been able to do that. Everything's just been so hazy and rolly. So hopefully this is the spot. If not this spot, then we go on to the next spot. And if not that spot, well then that's it, time's up. But hopefully we'll find something, at least a nice beach.